YouTube, but it's Chrissy Lulu. So today I actually have an art haul for you guys today. That's why you're looking at absolutely nothing here. <laughs> um, I might do something with all this stuff later, but I did get a lot, so I kind of want to show it off. I'm really excited about all of it, so yeah, let's get started. I'm going to start with some of the boring stuff. <laughs> Well, first, I have a T-square nail. These guys are really helpful for drawing straight lines and everything. Um, if you want another object that's like this, um, what are they? The see-through rulers that have the boxes on them, those are also very helpful. But this just is a little bit quicker and just another way to go about it. So, I'll have fun with this. Um, Holly Brown recommends it for perspective and stuff. If you need more reason to maybe try and check one of these out. But yeah. Next, I got more crochet hooks. Um, I'm, I've applied for Artist Alley, for an Artist Alley at a nearby con in the fall. So, um, if I do get in, I do want to make some more I'm a Greamy to sell, so I'm kind of excited about that. I'm going to make prints and everything, and I'll probably have a bunch of videos on it. If I do get in, um, wish me luck, okay guys? But yeah, um, next I have this guy, which is holding exactly knife. It's just an easier way for me to cut my washi tape rather than using this big guy because as you can see one's more effective than the other <laughs> um but yeah i hope both will be fairly helpful and he wasn't much he was like maybe 3.99 at ec more so yeah it's a feeling i've kind of already talked about these in my channel just since i got them recently I didn't get all of these at the same time. Um, some of them are from Hobby Lobby, some of them from AC Moore. Um, I don't have any Hobby Lobbies near me, so going to Hobby Lobby is like such a huge privilege. Um, hey, next, I've got more paper. <laughs> and I've got even more paper too. There's right, that paper, this paper that I haven't opened up. So this paper that I got AC Moore the other day that I did open up. Um, of course, these guys are a bit different than the last paper I, or the paper I showed last time. Um, this is just pretty much colored printer paper, so it's a lot thinner. But yeah, I've got 100 sheets of these neons and 150 sheets of the Spectrum. I'm really looking forward to using this one right here, the Stardust Light. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to them. They're very pretty colors. I love my papers. <laughs> if you guys have watched any other videos, you probably already know that I love my papers. <laughs> if you've been watching Dog Days of Summer with me, um, you can see that I've been using tons of colored papers. And that's been pretty much what I've been doing this whole month. So, it's been fun. Next, I picked up my first pack of the Pit Artist Pens. Um, they are originally like 23 bucks. These guys were on clearance for 550, so I picked them up and I'm actually kind of excited to check them out and everything. I'm going to do some swatches at the end, so stick around. But yeah, uh next I have this really cool um what are these called? I don't know. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. It's been a long day for me. But, oh yeah, it says it right here. Sorry. It's a fountain pen. So, I'm really excited about this. Um, I think they're really cool. I have a little pen guy. Or, not a pen guy. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I have a little feather pen that has these kind of tips. And, he doesn't work the best, but this guy was pretty cheap. As you can see, I got him from Poppy Lobby for $3.99. So, you should be fun to try out. I want to see if this is a nice way to kind of line things. Um, I do have to do an art supply Sunday. I will try and make more of those sometime soon. I'm so sorry for being behind, 
but yeah, definitely have something on our fountain pens for the pens, different kinds of pens and everything. I'm, I really love my art supplies, so I really can't wait to kind of go over them all. Um, next, we've got this. So, I mean, just look at that color right there. That is gorgeous. But, um, anyways, it's masking fluid. So pretty much you put this down on your paper and it covers up an area so you don't, you can keep it white and the paper clean and you don't have to worry about getting color in a place that you don't want it by accidentally coloring over it or maybe bleeding or something like that. Drips. Um, I've seen lots of people use this. Um, Lemia Crescent uses it quite a bit. Um, I just want to check it out. This is... Dr. P.H. Martin's Frisket Mask Liquid Level 2. Um, according to the side, it says that it's easier to remove than the first one. So, yeah. Um, this will be my first time using masking fluid, so that should be pretty interesting. But last but not least, this is one of the things I'm most excited about. So first off, I got a new yarn bowl, but... I found a bunch of brush markers. All the brush markers at Hobby Lobby were on clearance. So I picked up as many as I can and I already know that I did get a couple of duplicates. The ones I already have, but I, I tried to pick up all the ones that I did not have. Um, but yeah, they were all on clearance at Hobby Lobby for $124. And I think I got about 20 of them and I think that is quite the steal on brush markers since they are normally $4.99. So I just kind of want to go over the colors I have, and one of the easiest ways to do that might just be to do swatches, but yeah. Just look at these, they're so beautiful. I'm so excited to use them all. And I hopefully, hopefully you are excited to see me use them all. I'm really happy that I found these all, and I really hope, I definitely, since I just got a bunch more of these, I want to do an art supply Sunday on my alcoholic markers even more just because I have so many now and I'm so excited. So yeah, let's get to the swatches.
with these markers. Um, luckily, I only had one marker that ended up being a little bit gross, but it's kind of sometimes what happens. Um, these markers are all... I love the texture that you get with them, and I love the colors. The only one that seems a little bit weird is this one, and it's actually a dark indigo. So, I don't really know what's up with that, but... Um... Yeah. I can maybe look into it? I don't know. No, it seemed like it was more of just a cool gray pack with a black, but it looks like from the cover that there was some black, or some blue in it, but who knows. Um, the item that I seem to have most trouble with was actually getting the ink to flow in my fountain pen. Um, I really love this ink color though. Um, and once I did finally get it to start flowing, it did work very well. It just took a lot of time and effort to get the ink to get into the nib. Um, so that's just one thing that you might want to keep in mind if you ever want to use one. And they seem to be... Just keep their wetness for a little bit just because of the application and stuff. I know a lot of people use front pens for like calligraphy and stuff, but... Um, yeah, we'll see. Um, I'll use it a bit. I'll get used to it. Um, tell you my opinions on it and everything. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing all my art supplies and everything I've been getting recently. Um, I'm really excited to use them all. So, hopefully you're excited to see me use them all. Okay? So, I hope you guys like this video. Comment on what supply you want me to see or want to see me use the most. Um like the video, subscribe if you want to, um, hit the bell icon if you want to be notified every time that up I upload, and until next time, bye bye